Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. Definitely subscribe, stick around. We make vlogs all the time. So it's a good time, 23 weeks pregnant this week and I'm really excited because tomorrow is my six month prenatal appointment. So we're officially in month six. So essentially we've got three months until baby's here. It was so crazy. I did go work out. I just did a little quick blow dry the sweat out of my hair. I got my free drink today, which is sabotage because I can't have a venti free drink, but in three months I can, so it's fine. And then I also got a little breakfast sandwich. Later today, I need to go to the grocery store because I don't really have anything. We're going out of town on Thursday, but at least just get like a few things that I can eat tomorrow and Wednesday and even like on Thursday. So we're gonna do that, but I got, I always get a bacon egg and go to sandwich and then I take the bacon off because unpopular opinion i think bacon is literally disgusting i hate bacon so i'm gonna take it off this is gonna be breakfast and then we're gonna get murphy's walk-in you guys haven't even seen murph yet happy monday from murphy he loves you guys very much don't you <laughs> Quickly wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor of the video, StoryWorth. So with the holidays coming up, I wanted to let you guys know about StoryWorth. I think it's a great gift for any of your loved ones in your family. So if you didn't know, StoryWorth is an online service and it helps you and your loved ones preserve memories and even stories for years to come. It's such a thoughtful and meaningful gift. And I think that it's something that definitely like a grandparent or your mom and dad or in-laws would really love because of like all the thought that goes into it. Also, if you're needing a last minute gift, StoryWorth is perfect because it's all digital so every week story worth will send an email to the loved one of your choice so for instance I did mine with my dad so basically he'll get an email every week with prompts to share a story or like a life experience that he has been through or that has happened to him for instance he'll get emailed questions like what's the bravest thing you've ever done and then he can write back a little summary of the bravest thing he's ever done like another question is if you can see into the future like what would you want to find out about life there's so many different questions and so many different prompts that will not only get to know him and will be able to convey that through the book but will also pretty much tell his story and it's even more meaningful because whoever you end up choosing it's basically recording their story in their own words and then after a year story worth will combine all the stories and a few of your favorite keepsake photos that you submit into a book just like this one so here's me and my dad and my little sister on the front. And then it will compile the stories into the rest of the book. You can also order more to share with your relatives. So if you did one about your grandma, but you want to send it to your cousins and your aunts and your uncles, so you all have this book about her, you definitely can. It's so easy. Basically, if you got story worth for a loved one now this year, this whole next year, they'll write and respond to stories and prompts about themselves. And then you can give the book for Christmas next year. So I think it's a really cute keepsake and something that you and your family can cherish for generations generations to come and I think it would be a really really good last minute gift as well because the holidays are coming up like it's nothing so I just wanted to let you guys know about StoryWorth that way you can have it on your radar so like I said I'm giving it to my dad and what's even more cool about giving it to my dad is obviously my little sister is young she's only one and a half so as she gets older then she will be able to read it and have all those memories to look back on that I've gotten to experience when I was younger because she wasn't around so it's actually really cool you guys can go to storyworth.com slash henderson and you will be able to save ten dollars off of your first purchase but I know if you people um a few like family friends have done this i've seen these books in their house and they are so sweet and so thoughtful so i'm so excited i got to share this with you guys today again storyworth.com slash henderson for ten dollars off and thank you storyworth for sponsoring today's video
inform the baby registry it's very stressful like with everything that needs to go on it and there's just so many things so i've just been working on that since i have the day off today i'm not nannying today i go tomorrow though so i was just gonna spend some time doing that but i haven't showered yet and it's just past lunch so i'm probably going to get in the shower i don't think i'm gonna actually get ready today um just because today's pretty much a computer work day like nothing crazy is going on i don't need to film content or take pictures or anything like that so that is what i've been doing though and i am planning on doing a like first time mom when i'm putting on my baby registry video that way once i get everything on there and have everything solidified i can show you guys especially um for anyone else who is also trying to figure out what to put on their baby registry it is just like a lot and it's a lot to choose from and it's a lot to handle <laughs> So yeah, that video will be coming sooner rather than later because I do need to finish this. We are three months away from her arriving, which is crazy. So yes, I'm going to take a break from that though because I kind of have a headache and I also need to edit a video and I'm going to shower and get into a cozy outfit. So I'm going to import footage from the video that I need to edit right now while I'm showering. I also um, had pasta for lunch. It was so good. I've been craving spaghetti and meat sauce lately. So we had that. Just catching you guys up on what's been going on because I've been pretty much glued to my computer for the last hour and a half and I need to answer some emails and things like that too. So we'll work on that when I get back. But um, yeah, I really need to shower. Okay, I just showered and I'm gonna do a little bit of self-care while I sit here and continue to do computer work. And I'm also, oh, I need to put our, um, like, blankets that we use on the couch. I need to put those in the washer. It's, they're due for a wash, and then maybe our towels after that, and then maybe our sheets, depending on how much I get done today. Um, it's 3 o'clock right now. I'm going to sit here and edit my YouTube video for the next hour and a half. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but it's been taking me longer to edit than normal recently, so it very well could. And then at 4.30, we are going on a play date with Murph's friends. I do this every other week. You just place it in here. It's my Vanity Planet facial steamer. Um, and I just never film it for some reason because it's just kind of like, I don't know, it's awkward to film, I guess. Um, but I have the one where you can put essential oils in it. So today I did relax. Um, one of my essential oils, it's called relax. So no, 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 I did inhale today, which, and it smells really, really good. They all do. I just, you know, I've got time. So might as well do some mom self care. Let me go get the blankets though and put them in the washer. forgot my camera but we're going to the dog park to go play with his friends let's go oh sunset i know you're so excited so excited fam trip to pet smart literally fam trip okay getting his puppy food here. Oh. <laughs> Murphy and I are currently waiting in the car. We just went and got Murph food. He was completely out and now Colin and I are also getting food. Um, he just got home from work. I am not kidding you guys besides doing computer work for YouTube and stuff today All I've been doing is the baby registry and so I'm almost done So I think I'm going to film my what's on my baby registry video because um, I know a lot of you guys are also either pregnant or are gonna be pregnant one day or um I don't know, just curious as to like what would be on a baby registry. I don't know, but when I posted on my Instagram story today, I can you get that? I asked you guys what are your like baby registry must-haves. So many people responded and so many people said please share the responses because they're also trying to generate their baby registry. So um yeah, I just thought it would be nice to share with you guys exactly what I decided to put on mine. Not to say that it won't change, like I could 
I will probably keep adding things over the next few weeks but I feel like I have a pretty solid baby registry situation at the moment so I just want to go ahead and get that video up for you guys and then also fingers crossed that this whole situation that I'm about to tell you guys works out but basically I was looking for strollers and car seats and things like that that's been like my biggest stressor i've been trying to decide if i want to get the up a baby or the nuna basically oh Colin's already back so thanks mm -hmm. so i'm telling them about how i found I have my, yeah okay so i was on poshmark randomly well no, no no i was just on like the internet and i saw someone listed the exact like nuna car seat and stroller travel system that i had been looking at in the color that i initially wanted because it sold out literally everywhere and it was listed for 296 and so I bid and put an offer in and I said 260 and they accepted it. And then with like tax and shipping, it ended up being 270 something. So I ended up buying this and it, the description said like almost brand new, like amazing condition. So I'm really hoping that that works because if it did, I just got our car seat and stroller travel system from Nuna. Um, it's like the Nuna mix pipe, pipe light travel system for under $300 and that would be wild. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But we just got Chipotle for dinner. Now we're headed home. But I've literally been doing the baby registry all day today. And I've had, I've already had multiple people be like, oh, send me your registry, like I'd love to get you something. And I'm like, ah, I, I don't have one. So now I guess it'll be nice to make registry. But there's just so much. I think the baby registry was more stressful than the wedding registry, 100%. And you didn't do it so you wouldn't know. He didn't do either of them, so you wouldn't know. And then I said, you'll have to comment below too if your husband's benefited from like anything on the registry or like there's something you're glad that you put on the registry for your husband because I said to Colin earlier, I was like, what do you want like specific for the baby? Like, do you want a certain like carrier, like anything? And he's like, I don't know, just whatever she needs, I guess. But actually he called her it, but then he corrected it to she. It doesn't really matter to me what we get. I mean, as long as we have what we need. Yeah. I guess that the carrier isn't white. The, it's like, not. No, it's itself. like a sand brown color. Okay. White would get dirty. Yeah. I'm smarter than that. Scanning my receipt first. Gotta get those Starbucks gift cards. Okay. I'm so hungry. Yum. Morning guys. Happy Tuesday. We are currently on the way to my six month OB appointment. So I think that this is just a routine checkup. I don't think there's anything crazy, even though like it's my official like six month appointment. So yeah, probably check out the heartbeat. I'll vlog, I'll have Colin vlog on my phone as much as he can. My OB is really cool and she does not care if we feel better in there. <sighs> as of right now, I need, I still need to ask about like the birth and stuff, but that'll depend on when we get to the hospital. So. Bianca told me this morning I look like a homeless man. Because <laughs> it's, it's exactly scruff what she told me. It's just, um, the scruff is just kind of grown up. But you have to be honest with the lady, with them. You have to be honest with you. If I told you, in all honesty, that you looked homeless one morning. Well, you can't tell me that when I'm pregnant. Yeah. Sorry. Can I take it back? We're starting off, oh, well it needs to load. We're listening to a Crime Junkie podcast. We started this last night on the way to go get dinner and Murphy food, but we're gonna keep playing because it was really good so far. Mommy to the sea. So police move on to basically start crossing their T's and dotting their I's to make- Hey, here's the OB. There's a pediatrician here too. So I don't know if this is where we're gonna end up coming. We need to figure that out. Here I come. We're in the waiting room. Oh, 
That is it right there. <laughs> I got my glucose test drink. Yum. All right, I'll give you guys an update about the appointment in a second. Paris Teeter is blasting Taylor Swift, but it just paused. I see you, Harris Teeter. Got my coffee, the Harris Teeter. Oh, goodness. Okay, can't forget her. We're home from the appointment. We just stopped by the grocery store. On the way home, I'll show you guys what we got. I was gonna go work out today at 10, but I'm just gonna take today off and then I'll go the rest of the week. Well, until Thursday. We're going out of town. We're going to Cornell again. I got my coffee at Starbucks. So, baby girl's heart rate was perfect. They just checked the heart rate today. Um, she said 150s. I think we got a little clip. Colin filmed the floor. So it was really high quality footage. And it was everything that we needed in a vlog clip of the heartbeat. I haven't watched it back yet. <laughs> I'm going to go watch it after this. And then, so exciting. Well, this isn't exciting. My hour glucose, glucose test is our next appointment. Our next appointment's also on Colin's birthday, so we'll go to our doctor's appointment and then probably to like breakfast or something. But yeah, our appointment's at 10, so we'll be done at like 11 and then we'll do like a late brunch. So I have to finish drinking this by 9.30. I heard that it's not bad at all. I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator and then you have to drink it, they said no later than 9.30. Murphy needs water. So anyways, yeah, um, I've heard that this drink isn't even that bad. I, apparently a long time ago it used to be really, really bad, but I guess it's not so bad anymore. So you just have to chug it. And it's honestly a lot. There's like, this looks a little bit, it's, I feel like it's big. It's fruit crunch flavored. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and then have this, why are you crying? And then after that appointment, my appointments are now going to be every two weeks, which is crazy. So, so I'll be 27 weeks for my glucose test and then we'll start going every two weeks when I'm 29 weeks. So those are all the updates. Here's the bump today. Getting big or er, getting bigger. There, that's better. Okay. From the grocery store we got English muffins, some eggs, some more sourdough and strawberries and bananas and oh no. so just a quick little the vlog yesterday because I just had like so much work to do um and it just wasn't fun it was just as soon as I let, uh finished the montage I took more for that walk I think I recorded that and then I came back and finished my baby registry so I can film my what's on my baby registry video tomorrow and then last night I was finishing up my gift guides because I'm posting a video today that involves me telling you guys about them <laughs> so they needed to be done and now it is the next day so it's 8 30 that was a mood okay I uh for the first time in who knows how long I just took a 7 30 a.m. workout class and it felt so good I just Colin and I have been sleeping in which I don't even mind because when the baby comes like that life is over you know <laughs> but um I do I'm like an early bird and I'm also a night owl but I'm an early bird I love the early mornings so it just felt good and then now we're gonna go get some coffee and then I have 
a Zoom meeting later. And before our Zoom meeting, we're going to tour an apartment, which I need to talk to you guys about because you're probably like, wait, an apartment? Like, are we not trying to find a house? And yes, we are trying to find a house, ladies, but, and gentlemen, excuse me. But, like, I don't know about where you live, but the housing market in Charlotte, doesn't matter if you're renting or buying, is bizarre. And it's like, if a house pops up, it quite literally, if it's a good one, like a very good one, it will go that day. And it's just like so stressful. And uh, another update about the moving situation. Colin and I just decided that as soon as we find a place that's a good price, that's safe, that we feel comfortable moving in and bringing a baby home to, regardless if it's a house or apartment, because I need to be open-minded. Colin was more than happy to move into an apartment again. We personally, like, we feel really safe in an apartment. Well, okay, we feel safe in our apartment now. When we move out, I'll tell you guys about our apartment now. To be honest, I do not recommend moving in there. That's a whole nother story, and I'm not gonna talk about it until after we move out in a month. But, just being honest with you guys. Second, like apartments are safe like we do feel really safe and for being first-time parents and for Colin being gone for the entire month of January like we had a talk and I think one of his biggest reservations of like waiting to move till he got back was because he was gonna be gone and it was just gonna be me very pregnant alone with the dog so I think that that just kind of like worried him especially if I was in a house like by myself you know what I mean so I totally get that um, but we just decided like whatever pops up house or apartment is what we will go for if we feel good about it so um, also when we move I'll share the name of our current apartment um, but for like privacy reasons the one that we're touring today I'm not gonna share and if unless we don't end up like really liking it and going for it I'm tempted if we do like it just to go for it because of how stressful trying to find a house and all that jazz is so we'll see about that and but I'll insert clips of the units that we tour just so you guys can see because I obviously like I like to share as much as I can of like our life with you guys but when we you know like have a baby and stuff like I would like to have where we live be like private so which makes sense it's not like people blast their address on the internet so yes but I will show you the units um, I, like I said, I'll tell you the name if we decide to not to go with that apartment 100%. Um, it's not quite where we live right now. It's still in South Charlotte. So if you're new to my channel, we live in Charlotte. Like our address literally says Charlotte, North Carolina, but we live in South Charlotte. So I personally think, and if you're moving to Charlotte, if you are a young adult and you can afford to live in South End, I would live in South End. I would live in, okay, young adult if you had like all the money in the world and you wanted to be where it was popping with like the fun young adult crowd, okay? I would live in South End, Midtown, or like, yeah, South End or Midtown, honestly. I would live there. If you are into the more like suburb aspect like me, I'm not really a city girl. Like you would think I am, but I'm not. I'm also reloading my Starbucks gift card. I prefer to live like outside in the suburbs and then go into the city. Like it's just more fun for me that way. And since um, we've lived here like our whole life essentially, um, it's just like I've always had that little suburb aspect so I enjoy it and it's, I, I like living, I like being able to drive to places like that. Then I would recommend like Providence, Waverly, or like Ballantine, but Ballantine's still pretty expensive. Or um, like anywhere near like Ray Road is what I would recommend. So, so Providence Road or Ray Road, that area, like Blakeney, Stonecrest, um, that's kind of like where we live now. And then when we're the apartments that we're touring today are kind of more towards. Um, not the airport. I wouldn't necessarily say that they're towards the airport, but they're more that way. Honestly, I don't really know where they are. So I, I should probably look that up. I just know it's a couple exits down. Okay, we are pulling up to the apartment that we're touring. I give the surrounding area a 10 out of 10 for however long we've lived in Charlotte. I've had no idea that this area was here. And it's really safe. I feel very comfortable walking with a sweet baby girl and sweet baby dog. So 
I already am getting really good vibes. apartment complex a lot like we liked how secluded it was here let me come over and see my man's we loved how secluded it was they're doing one month free and they had a floor plan which i'll show you guys or you guys would have seen before this but it's two bedroom one bathroom mm -hmm. and that actually like works out really well you guys should have seen how big the bedroom was murphy's biting me the bedroom was huge, so it's gonna be really good for when. Yeah, um, giant bedroom. Oh my god, I almost just said her name. When she's sleeping in our room, it's gonna be so nice to have that much space with the bassinet and stuff. So, um, if we're like gonna get a floor plan, it's gonna be that one, cause and then she'll have her own little nursery. Then we'll just have one bathroom, and it was, it was really nice. I liked it. So, yeah, I guess I'll keep you guys updated. But I'm about to go nanny. Murphy, let my sweater go. Let it go. Drop it. So, I'm going to end the video. Thank you again, StoryWorth, for sponsoring today's video. I know that it was a little bit all over the place, but we are just busy these past few days before we leave again to go to Cornell. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget storyworth.com slash Henderson if you want $10 off your StoryWorth order, but I will have everything in the description below. And we will see you guys in my next video which I think should be my baby registry video. So I'm excited about it. Definitely make sure you subscribe. Stick around. See you later. Bye. Bye. Good boy. Good boy.